Brian, welcome back. Hey, thank you very much, Dave. Thrilled, thrilled to be here at Scott Radio. We have a listener that says, uh, hey, now that the cutaway, uh, I'm sorry, not the cutaway, the repack cycle has been extended to 180 days now. Is that correct? In yeah, the United States? Six months. Six months now. Are there any things that we need to think about uh, differently about our equipment as far as like maybe um, things that wouldn't normally get checked in between repacks that maybe we need to think more about now? Yeah. Well, I, I think that it, regardless of what the repack cycle is, the user needs to take a greater responsibility than we've developed as a culture. You know, our habit has been, well, that's a rigor thing. I'm not going to look at my closing loop. I'm not going to look at my reserve pin. And the truth is the rigor only sees it once in a while. It's your job every jump to look at your stuff. You know, I mean, the, the big one that I worry about more than anything else is that people turn their cypress on in the morning, especially in rigs where that cypress is on the back pad and you don't have to open your flap. They don't look at their pin. You know, the pin, do, do, it will not migrate in. <laughs> <laughs> it only goes one direction. It goes out. And of course, if you're climbing out of the aircraft and you've got that reserve pin popping as you're climbing out and the reserve pilot chute pops over the tail and you're dangling from the tail of the otter, and you go, oh, man, I, I really wish that I had a reserve cutaway handle right on now. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, that to me, that's the big one is that the pins will mi- migrate around. Obviously, depending on how well they load up that closing loop knot when they pack the reserve, it, things will settle. Obviously, there's air coming out of the reserve over time. When you get out closer to six months, things settle. The pilot chute stands up more, and, and now there's more uh, slack in the closing loop. And so the pin can slide around a little bit. So push your pin back in, double check that. And just the condition of the loop, if it looks bad for whatever reason, you know, if you've got a reserve flap that slides around a little bit, can rub on your loop. If it looks ugly, bring it back to your rigger and have them replace the closing loop. It's not that hard to, to just pop the thing open. You don't have to repack the reserve usually. What about like uh, spandex pouches, that kind of stuff? Sure. It's your job, right? If you've had a premature deployment, especially at high speed, you don't want another one. <laughs> I've had two, uh, and they both sucked. So it's a huge issue that I, we see it all the time, people that just don't pay attention to it. And as things start to loosen up, especially in combination with zero P pilot shoots, they want to come out. And it's, You're a fan of F-111 pilot shoots. Is am. that true? I am, for more than one reason. One is that, uh, like we said, it's got uh, much more friction, so it stays in the pouch easier. The other part is that we find that zero-P pilot shoots are a little more nervous on deployment. In other words, they oscillate because they grab air so efficiently. When you think about a round parachute, if you've got a round parachute with no apex vent, no hole in the middle of it, it swings back and forth and you get pretty damn nauseous. So you cut a hole in the middle, it dampens those oscillations, which improves its efficiency in every way. So the overall descent rate is actually diminished too. So when you look at, at the F-111 pilot chute, it's actually leaking air through the pores in the fabric, which I would guess is the, the reason why the, the F-111 pilot chute seems to deploy straighter. They seem to give you more on-heading openings. You do have to go to a little bit bigger one uh, compared to the zero P in order to get the same extraction force. Which helps with keeping it in the pouch. Which helps to keep it in the pouch, too, exactly, as it does a longer bridle. Right? Longer bridle gives you better openings also. The wingsuit, the base poopy people have all realized the same thing. When the pilot chute is further from you, when it hits that pin, it's out of the burble, or, or more out of the burble, and you get more snatch force. So it's uh, contributing to good openings. So yeah. And, and then we've talked in the past also about uh, the three-ring system. Maybe that's something that we need to make sure we're... Absolutely. Keep looking at it. Make sure you continue to flex it, especially if it's gotten moist. But uh, Just keep that... that uh, whole thing flexible. You know, cutting it away is not that hard. You don't have to pull the whole cutaway handle out. Just milk each individual thing, one side and then the other. Uh, pull the three ring off and make sure that that memory is uh, erased, so to speak. So things we've always been responsible before for anyway. Yeah. But now it's just going to be another extra month or so before rigor Absolutely. second checks. Works. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It, it always was our job to, to maintain our own gear. Nobody has your best interest at heart more than you Brian thanks so much and uh, where can we read more about you well you can go to BrianGermain.com which is the the transcending fear stuff which is a huge passion of mine and I do a lot of uh, a lot of public speaking on that topic but also the big air sports with a z dot com website which is much more skydiving oriented thanks very much Brian we'll talk to you soon all right peace out thanks Dave